Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and today something not Transformers related at all, but something I purchased recently from DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. Juggernaut. It's already open, so you know it's empty box. But Juggernaut, uh, this is the Diamond Selects line. They're massive, they're heavy, a um, little low on articulation or the ability to articulate. I'm not an expert with uh, you know posing and stuff, but I really wanted a juggernaut. Uh, I don't collect Marvel's figures. Uh, my son had a couple when he was a kid. He had uh, juggernaut. I've always been a big X-Men fan, more than a Marvel fan, I would say. And uh, yeah, so juggernaut was something that, you know, it's a one-off. And um, I just really wanted to uh, take a look at it. But my sponsor, who's an awesome guy, also gave me this. This is a gift from Derek at DJC Collectible. Uh, reason is that because there was a, an, an accessory that was less than perfect. So we was expecting a return. So he said, if you buy the Juggernaut, I'll give you this. So I got a two for one. Awesome. Beta Ray Bill is my favorite non-X-Men, non-Avenger figure. You know, he's just one of those galactic characters that is extremely powerful and that's he's the true wielder of stormbreaker not the mcu version uh, and yes he looks like thor you know same he used to have the same costume and everything it's a second thor he's just so much cooler like so much cooler than thor so he was a must so now i'm going to review those two together um it's i don't know what it's going to give i've never reviewed diamond selects figures I'm super excited to have them. So before I do so, check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, who's the best sponsor in the world, but also a fantastic online store, great packaging when he ships stuff. I actually am lucky enough to pick up stuff at his house. And also I checked out his warehouse, which is stuck. It's better than Toys R Us. And it's like a mini heaven, love it. So Derek, thank you. And hopefully, you know, uh, you're gonna keep growing and become the major supplier of anything collectibles in Canada. That's my wish. So now let's roll the intro. Alright, this will be a quicker review because there's no transformation. Uh, but uh, starting with Juggernaut, he looks amazing. And this guy is like, I don't know, six, seven pounds, maybe more. He's heavy. Um, there's a way to remove the helmet. I'm not going to do that because I'm afraid I'm going to break something. I wish he was a little more red, you know, like uh, in the comics. <laughs> Uh, but I like the details on it very nicely painted you can clearly see the eyes and his you know angry face of Kane Marco uh, all the details on the chest all the muscles the ab you know huge six packs and wow it's the, the arms uh, one thing because of how they do it it kind of looks you know it, it's flat here kind of looks a little weird uh, on the inside of the arm, but looks muscly. All the paint details, the skin color, uh, and then the, uh, the, ch the the bands on the biceps and the forearms, the hands, you know, battle damage a little bit, red and gold or brown. Uh, looks really good. The boots are massive. I and there's a, you know, a ball joint at the bottom. Looks really good. Articulation. I mean, he's super tight, but you have a limited knee. You know, he's uh, not 90. Uh, stands really good. This one uh, just turns around. There's no... Well, yeah, there is a... Uh, 
you know, you can move it left and right a little bit to help with possibility, which I suck at. Uh, the arm will have a big rotation here. And then you can uh, open it up like that, but then you see this big joint. Uh, so I prefer to keep it closed. Same thing on the, well, actually this one is painted, so it's less appearance, so you can move the arms. There's no rotation at the hand. Uh, but the ray build does this one doesn't so there it the, the you can't there's no wrist rotation That's kind of a well, I guess a miss the head moves a little bit, but it's hindered by the uh, the helmet I'm guessing if I attempted to remove the helmet. I probably would have a good uh, a Good rotation of the head, but I mean it's impressive. I, I don't collect these I don't plan on starting collecting these I just got a really great deal um, on this one and I'm very impressed. Juggernaut is one of my favorite. He came with an accessory, which I don't get. It's just a piece of cardboard with a plastic base and it looks good. There's a crow and some skulls and destruction. Obviously Juggernaut's been there. There's on the other side, you have a big explosion. So I'm guessing this is he smashed a nuclear plant. I don't know. Maybe it's from a comic I haven't uh, had the chance to read. Um, if that's what it is, you know, I, I missed out, but you know Scaling wise this could have been a little bigger So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it in the back uh, Better Ray Bill very impressed the version of better Ray Bill. I prefer does not have this huge plume on his head, but I uh, it, It's growing on me. I, it looks really good <laughs> Uh, the paint application on this guy is very well done. The cape, uh, it's, uh, you know, soft, rubbery plastic. It's not cloth. Moves a little bit. Maybe I could remove it. I'm not sure. I'm not going to try it because I'm not an expert in these figures. So I don't want to ruin it. Uh, the black gold and then the dark blue here really good same uh, dark blue on the uh, forearms and the uh, bicep the golden glove there is a 360 and a back and forth joint on the hand uh, it's really tight the shoulder also and you have a 360 like that I'm afraid to break it it's so tight like it's really tight oh there you go uh you have do you have a waist rotation yeah it's probably hindered yeah it's hindered by all the accessory but you could rotate the waist there's an ab crunch but also limited because of the accessories uh juggernaut too oh forgot to mention that he has a uh, i didn't even try it but he has a rotation here you know i don't know if it goes back and forth it's, it's really tight i don't want to break it uh the legs does have a uh movement it's kind of hindered by the cape and this accessory here uh you have a knee band wow it's, it's really tight there you go uh, that's as far as i'm oh no there you go Eh, nice knee bend wow that's just tight this is he's less massive than um juggernaut but he, he man he looks really good you no guilt about killing. Uh, and then the, you have a uh, ankle back and forth. You have a rotation uh, at the middle of the shin. That's kind of weird. And then a little toe tilt. And then the head movement, you have, you know, it's limited because of that big helmet, which is not removable. And look at that face sculpt. Look at that face sculpt. This is better Ray Bill, 100%. Love them out. Hulk, I know of you. The halls of Asgard echo with tales of your rage. They ain't heard nothing yet. And, you know, it's... Wish it closed. It doesn't close. 
There's a big line here. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I, you know, there's this mark here. Um, looks kind of ugly, but looks good anyway. Wow. I mean, this isn't my greatest review because I'm not used to this stuff. But man, and he came with two accessories. Those, there's this uh, Stormbreaker, which looks really good. And it's super hard to... Uh, well, it's easier to remove than to put in. So, And then you can hold it in his hand like this. So that uh, before he starts spinning it. But also, look at that. That's the reason why I got it so cheap you know a good deal is because hold on all right sorry about that but the reason why i got him at such a good deal is because of this accessory here the handle was broken so i super glued it and it's holding pretty good and it's basically stormbreaker spinning before he takes like or smashes it. So you just put it in the hand like this. I don't want to force it. Come on, get it. There you go. So you spin it like this. Kind of looks really good, you know? And then you have like the, the color degradation to clear from the gold. And, uh, you know, it's uh, same size too. So, you know, for pictures like uh, Sardo. Sardo would probably make amazing pictures with these guys. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be really happy to have these displayed uh, on my shelf. So there you go, guys. That's just my quick non-transformer uh, review. And I, I'm really happy to have these guys in my collection. I mean, Juggernaut and Better Ray Bill, they both look awesome. They look powerful. They're, you know, super powerhouse. So I'm extremely happy to have these guys. Thank you. Thank you, Derek, for uh, the great deal. And I, I'm eternally grateful for uh, your sponsorship. So uh, DJC Collectibles, you knocked it out of the park for me. And I truly appreciate that. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. Always remember that Juggernaut is stronger than the Hulk. Because the Hulk can never kill him. Why? compelled to hurt me and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care